Good morning, traders. Welcome to today's market review. This is Fred Rezak at CM Trading. Today is June 16, 2021. And today is Wednesday morning. So looking at the highlights of the day, markets tapering off before the big number of the FOMC coming out later today. But first, looking at the major economic events of the day, including the FOMC at 2.30 South African time out of Canada, we have an inflationary number. It's a CPI number that's coming out. And then at 8 p.m., the big number coming out in the United States, FOMC rate statement that is an interest rate statement that's coming out. Now, as we look at the various markets, mostly tapering off, especially the Forex symbols, looking at the indices, the NASDAQ retraces after hitting all time record highs and looking at the Dow Jones actually tapering and trading lower. Now, looking at commodities, oil makes new record highs once again but tapers off and gold bounces. Looking at the stocks, it's banned stocks that actually led the market lower yesterday. And lastly, looking at Bitcoin Unchained. So let's take a look at the markets and see what we can expect from today's trading. So let's jump straight into it. And Honestly, you've got to know your levels, okay, especially in a day like today where you expect volatility and you expect spikes in the markets and, you know, correctional situations. You've got to expect and you've got to know your levels. It's got to be very clear to you in all intents and purposes. So we are looking at the Euro USD at a four hour chart and looking at our levels. Let's take a look at it. We got 120.94 as the low. 121.97 is somewhat our next upwards resistance line and then of course the upper upper resistance line of 122.67 okay depending on how the market's going to translate some of the fomc rate statement and what the fomc is going to do because they have lots of ways besides just the rate statement of i don't want to call it manipulating the market but they do have a lot of um other means in their disposal to actually increase flow of money into the markets or decrease flow into the markets depending on what is happening with inflation okay that's really the biggest concern right now getting and restarting the economies uh, especially in the united states but then also at the same time trying to give us a uh, foundation for a growth economy as well. So looking at the majors right here, Euro USD, Aussie USD, really unchanged. Okay, we're looking at the GBP also really unchanged. And you're looking at the CAD did get weaker, okay, as it pushed that 122-ish level, but didn't clear it and then retrace. So I don't want to say that this is a developing a upwards momentum, but could be it is, okay? I mean, if we drew the line, we'd probably get a decent um, upwards trend line. But again, it's not a um, it's not a, a steep incline, so I don't expect it to go that much further up. Now, looking at gold and oil, gold bouncing yesterday from 1850-ish level up to 1860 as it's consolidating in this lower range. And looking at oil, this got really interesting yesterday as it pushed to new record highs yesterday at 72.75, almost ending that $73 range, and then retracing. We're just at 72.61. It's a very tight range that we're still, you know, I would still say that we're upwards momentum, but it kind of broke that eight day moving average. So perhaps that's going to be the next resistance ish level. And we're going to just consolidate in this upper range until we break higher. Now looking at the Dow Jones and the NASDAQ, looking first at the Dow Jones, we saw some weakness yesterday, about 100, 150 point retracement yesterday. That's really on the back of the fact that the bank stocks are really weak. Okay. But before we do that, we could, this could go either way today, especially if the bar, if the Fed wants to increase some flow into the markets. Now we're looking at the NASDAQ. NASDAQ, remember, hit all time record highs the previous day, but didn't sustain it. Okay. Yes, is at that upper range. It hasn't really sold off, but didn't really sustain it. And the stocks really reflect that. Now looking at JP Morgan, which is a New York Stock Exchange stock, you see the weakness here as it broke 154.97. Now this is still previous resistance, sub subsequent support. So if we do see some strength here, we may see this actually bounce off of this level. And that's why it's really important to keep a journal and to know what levels everything is trading at. Now, looking at the stronger stocks, the Facebook, uh, it did have still an update as it hit 136, mildly a new record high. Microsoft also traded a little bit higher, but nothing really to write home about. 
But lastly, looking at Bitcoin, all right, this is where it's at. 40,000, we're clearing it, we're standing at this level. We need to sustain it. We need to also see that it's going higher for us to be convinced that it's actually a decent buy. Now, again, I always say this in these type of days where we're trading tremendous volatility, use stop losses, make sure you're taking profits and just trade responsibly. This is Fred Ray Zach. I want to wish you guys a great trading day. Thank you.